hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install mac os monthly on virtualbox on your windows pc now for those who don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run different operating systems on your host operating system so you can see this is my virtualbox i am currently running windows 11 and windows 10 separately on the same virtualbox i can run many other operating systems as much as i want now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox so open your chrome browser and then search for virtualbox so the first page you see up here, click on it, Oracle VM VirtualBox. And then by the left, you can see Downloads over here, click on Downloads. Now this is where you select the VirtualBox you want to download. So we are downloading VirtualBox for Windows, so select Windows Host over here, and it would start downloading. We also need the extension pack, as you can see over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Now I already have this downloaded, so I don't need to download again. So you have to download this and then download the VirtualBox itself for your computer. Now you just have to install VirtualBox normally like you install every other software. If you find it difficult to install then check the description of this video. You will see a link to a video I made earlier on how to install VirtualBox. Now we also have to download macOS Montree virtual image. So click on the link in the description of this video and it will take you to this page. I will paste the link in the description and this is where you will download the ISO file for macOS Montree virtual image. Now this file is 16 gig, so I would recommend you to use an internet download manager so in case your network is not stable, it won't fail while downloading. I already have this downloaded so I don't need to download again. And lastly, we need to copy these commands which we are going to use for the installation. I will also paste the link in the description of this video where you can just click on the link and then copy all this. So let me copy this now. Open your notepad on your PC and then let's paste it there and then just save it as commands. So you can see we now have this saved in our computer and on our files over here we have Mac OS image file and then Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Now we are good to go and we are ready to begin the installation. So let's close this Chrome browser and then open our VirtualBox. Now we have to add the VirtualBox extension we downloaded. So click on preference up here on your VirtualBox. And then go to extensions over here now click on add over here and then select the virtualbox extension we downloaded this is 10.7 megabytes open and then install scroll down and then agree to the terms yes and it would start installing the extension pack successfully installed so let's click on ok we are done with that now we have to create a new virtual machine where we are going to be installing our mac os so click on new up here and then let's call this machine mac os montreal 12. if you use the different name make sure the type is set to mac os x and the version is set to mac os x 64 bits so i use the name mac os montreal that's why it was automatically changed but you have to manually set it if you use a different name now click on next and then set the ram you want to allocate to this machine so you should allocate at most 40 percent of the ram on your pc so i think i will give this 6 gig of ram and then click on next so go with create a virtual hard disk now create and then go with vdi which is the virtual box disk image and then click on next dynamically allocated next now set the amount of storage you want this device to use so i would recommend over 50 gig i will give this 100 gig of storage so let me go with 100 gig and then create okay so you can see our new virtual machine has now been created now we have to modify few other things and to do that select your machine over here and then go to settings up here now go to system now click on processor and you can see the cores allocated to this machine so let's give this three core processor now go to display and then set the video memory so i'm going to give this 128 megabyte as a video memory so this would perform better now go to storage and then click on empty now select this blue disk icon over here and then you can see over here choose or create a virtual optical disk now click on add button over here and then add the mac os file we downloaded you can see 16 gig click on it and then click on open click on choose now let's go down to usb over here and then set this to usb 3.0 and then click on ok so we are done with that on to the next stage now we have to add these commands we got earlier to cmd 
now take note of your virtual box machine name because we have to use that name to make changes to these commands now go to edit up here click on replace now we want to replace the default name which is here vm name and then we want to replace it with our machine name so you can see vm name over here let's paste it there and then we are going to replace it with our machine name so you just have to copy the machine name exactly as it is you don't have to make any change to this so i can just go to settings and then you can see the name of my machine over here let me just copy it directly so i don't make any mistake now let's close this head back and then we are replacing it with our machine name and then click on replace all so you can see it has been changed from vm name to our machine name now one last thing to do make sure the disk path is actually correct so you can see over here cd and c which is the default disk path but in my own case i'm using an ssd and i actually changed the disk path so you can see over here this is the original disk path c this is another of my disks d and this is the disk i'm currently using so i have to change this to s but in your case you may have to leave it this way because by default it is supposed to be like this so i'm going to change it for me to s and we are good to go so i can close this close this now let's open command prompt cmd right click run as administrator now we have to paste in each line step by step so let's paste in the first line and then hit enter so you can see we've successfully moved to this directory over here with this command so let's paste in the second command hit enter paste in the third command and then hit enter now let's paste in the fourth command hit enter fifth command hit enter and then paste in the last command and then hit enter so we are done with this step now we can close cmd command prompt and we can close our commands over here since we no longer need it now click on start so you can see we can begin the setup now now select the language english or any other language continue now click on dix utility and then continue go to vbox hard disk media up here and then click on erase now let's call this mac os and then click on erase it has been successfully erased so let's click on done now we can close this utility over here by clicking on this x and then we can go with the installation install mac os 12 better continue continue now agree to these terms and then select the disk continue now the installation has started this will take some time so you have to wait patiently So let's proceed with the installation. So let's just continue. Now for this step you have to connect to the internet that's why we are getting this error so let's try again or we could actually continue and then set this up later so let's just continue. Not now. Set up later. So if you notice closely, you can see that this is actually slow. Now I will tell you why. So let's finish up the installation. So let me agree to these terms. So here we can fill in our details. Continue. So this is the team. I think I'm okay with the dark team. So guys, we now have a full running Mac OS Monterey 12 installed on our virtual box. So guys, this is really easy to install but you just have to follow everything closely. Now let's get to the things that may cause issues when you are installing this. When you are running the installation, if you don't erase the disks just as I showed you, it won't work. 
when you proceed with the installation, you won't get a column to select the disk. So make sure you erase the disk just as I did. Now the second issue a lot of people will encounter is at that point where it is showing Apple logo and then it is loading and trying to install, it may stay there and then restart over and over and over again and you will have lots of issues and it will seem impossible to get to this machine. Now it's very easy, all you need to do is close the program and then open your virtual box, go to settings and then reduce the system RAM, you can just reduce it to at about 2 gig RAM and then go to the processor section and then change it to 1 and then click on OK and it won't get to good 10 minutes, everything will be running properly. So after the installation, you can head back to the settings and then increase the RAM, also increase the processor 3 or 4, whichever, and then you are good to go. So with this, you won't have any issues while you're running this. If you had any other problem, kindly use the comment section to share and we'll be glad to help you. You can also join our Discord server where we can communicate better so you can share your questions there. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.